Hey guys, it's Shannon, and today I'm doing another empties video. So it has been a hot minute since I've done one of these videos, and I keep meaning to do it, but normally I'll get like empties products, and I'll totally forget about the empties videos, and just totally just throw them away. So I'm actually sitting at my computer because my back, that doesn't work, I gotta leave that page open, so I have light. My back is killing me, I don't know what I did to it. Um, I slept really weird last night, so I think that hurt my back. Um, so I'm sitting in my computer chair today just so I have some support on my back and I'm not just on the floor. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to show you my empties products. So some of these I've had for a while and some of them look kind of grungy because they were like in my bathtub. Um, this is all bath products by the way, mostly like shampoo <laughs> and then I got a couple of like body washes and stuff. I do have another big thing of empties at my mom's house but that's more like cosmetics um like makeup and stuff and actually a lot of it is what i'm just getting rid of because i've had it for so long that it just is no good anymore okay so we're gonna start with this this is the pantene expert intense hydration shampoo i really liked this i think they just came out with this recently it smells really good it smells really fresh but it smells kind of fruity um, I really like the way this made my hair look. It made my hair look really shiny. Um, when I got my hair ombre, they advised me not to use Pantene because it includes a lot of oils in it. And it would take out the blonde. But I got my hair ombre in like July and it's been like six months. So I figured it wouldn't hurt it. And honestly my hair's been feeling really dead. And there's a bubble. Okay. Um, ever since I started using Pantene again. My hair has felt more alive and it felt really healthy and it just feels better in general. I actually just repurchased this. I didn't repurchase this one exactly. I repurchased the Repair Experts one, the Intense Repair or something like that. And I also got the conditioner. I have the conditioner in this as well, but it's not empty yet because I go through shampoo faster than I do conditioner um, just because I don't use as much conditioner because it makes my roots and the top of my head really oily. This one is not 100% empty yet, but um, as you can probably tell from the packaging, it's really old. I've had this, I got it used, like my mom bought it from one of her friends for like a dollar or something. But like the packaging is like broken on the side and it's just a mess. I really like this. It's the... Um, what are you called? Oil body thermal pedicure. pedicure. It's a health, self heating exfoliating everyday treatment for your feet. So I probably will repurchase this if I can find it. I've never seen this like in stores or anything. Um, it did work really nice. I did really like it. It doesn't really smell like anything y'all. How much is even in here? I can feel stuff in there but it's like not even wanting to come out so that's another reason it's gotta go in the trash it's all just like stuck in there so um yeah i might repurchase this i don't know i have a lot of like um body wash and stuff that i need to use up so i might just keep this on my list of products that i like and when the time comes to repurchase some more i might repurchase this and then just keep it for like a pamper evening or something Okay, then I have a face wash. This is from St. Ives, and it's the Blemish Control Apricot Scrub, and it has deep exfoliation factor. I would not recommend this for every day just because the exfoliation factor is so high, um, but I did really, really like this. It smells nice. It reminds me of when I went and got my fake tan. My fake tan kind of smelled like this. Which is weird to say, like, you wouldn't think a fake tan would smell like apricots, but it kind of did. It smells like this. It reminds me of that. But this prevents blemishes and minimizes pores. Um, I didn't really notice that exactly, but I did notice it made my skin feel amazingly soft. Like, I went through this so quick because I would actually use it, like, on my arms and legs and stuff. Um, I think I used this right before I went and got my fake tan because it does do such a deep, a deep exfoliant. So I knew that my skin would be really 
like clear and f nice and everything for my tan. Um, and if you're wondering what fake tan I'm talking about, I'm talking about when I went to prom last year. Um, but yeah, I did really like this. I probably will repurchase this. Um, I do have another one that I'm trying to force myself to use up, but I'm just going to end up giving it to my mom. It is a St. Ives, but it's the grapefruit one. And I think I'm allergic to it because every time I use it, my face feels like it's on fire <laughs> and is extremely red afterwards. And it's only a moderate exfoliation factor, so it wouldn't be because the exfoliation is so high or anything. Um, so I might just give that to my mom and then repurchase another one of these. And then, um, because it is such a high exfoliant, I would just use it like once a week or something. And then that's actually pretty cheap. It's only like... I want to say $3.95 at the dollar store, Dollar General. So then I have this body wash. It's from Bath & Body Works Pleasures, and it's their pink grapefruit shower gel. I really like this. It smelled really nice and fresh. I used it a lot this summer. As you can tell, I literally used it all except for that little tiny bit that will not come out. I did really like this, but I don't think I will repurchase it again because I got tired of the grapefruit smell really fast, but it does smell amazing. And like I said, I do have a lot of body washes to use up. But because I got... This is just a little bottle too. And I would only use it like once a week because um, normally I'm... I don't just take a shower once a week. Let me explain that. Um, I'll take a shower when I'm here at my grandma's. And then the rest of the week I'm at my mom's. Um, and then I take a shower there. Like every night. And I would use it when I was here. Um... Because on the weekends, I usually give my hair a rest, and I don't wash it, like, I usually wash it every day through the week, and then on the weekends, I wash it, like, Saturdays, and then I don't wash it Friday or Sunday. So, or if I don't, I might do, like, Friday and Saturday not washing it, and then wash it Sunday before school, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think I'll repurchase this scent exactly, but I will, I do have a lot more Bath & Body Works, um, shower gels. I can't think of the word. <laughs> So then, these two kind of go together. They're both, um, being thrown on the floor. These are both Dove shampoos. This first one is the Nourishing Oil Care Shampoo with Nutri Oils. I did really like this. It made my hair really soft. Um, but I noticed when I used this, it had, um, a lot of oils in it, really, if I'm honest. Um. It doesn't really smell like anything. It smells like shampoo. But whenever I would use this, I'd, I would have to, um, I said I wash my hair every day through the week. I don't. I do it, like, every other day. Um, except for on the weekends. I just do it, like, once in most three days. So, um, when I would use this, I would often have to wash my hair, like, whenever I'd be at my mom's. After I would use this, I would have to, like, shampoo my hair twice because it would be so oily. Um, there, there is a lot of oils in this, and so you might just want to be aware of that if you have naturally oily hair. So, but it did help, like, the deadness, but not as much as Pantene does. I love Pantene a lot. Um, I was trying to use these Dove shampoos up so that I could get more Pantene, honestly. Um, so then I had the Intense Repair shampoo. This one, I don't really remember what it did. I haven't used it since, like, I ran out of this in, like, October, because I'd had it for a long time but yeah so I don't remember how it did um, this was the one I started using right after I got my hair on braid and I mean it, I'm sure it made it soft and stuff but like I can't give a really good review on this because I don't really remember what it did so apologies for that <laughs> um, I will try not to go this long without another empties video just because I can't really give a good review there's no scent to that one either by the way um, just because when I go so long, I can't really give a good review, and I apologize for that. So, I think that's it for today. I will see you all in my next video, which will be up Thursday. Alright, bye guys!